I need to come out and go, Gary, make me a cup of tea. He'd always ask me to make it. There was loads of lads there, but it was always me. Oh, and I'd go, what I right. one of them. And one day I'd, I'd been arguing with him. I was just pissed off. And he, he, I'd been arguing in the morning. And he'd come out. He went, where's my half one cup of tea? And I was like, <gasps> no. <"Sound." laughs> that, 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 so I just walked, walked up to the kitchen. That's right. The little fucking sink and all that. Boiled the kettle. And he's just sitting at the desk looking at me through the window. And I'm going, <laughs> with his tea bag on me gooch. <laughs> and <laughs> 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 What's happening, people? Hello, common scum. Yes. Do you like watching our content on YouTube for free? Well, don't. Scruffy <laughs> cunts. Let me tell you why, because we are over on Patreon. That is patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod. Do you think it's called Patreon because they patronise people? Because that's the way you sound. <laughs> Back to the common scum. <laughs> if you're wondering what's on the Patreon... Tell us, Dan. Shitloads. Wow. Shitloads. There's, there's early access to all of the public episodes like this one, so any episode that gets released on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're thinking... We're keeping and that your ass falls out when you're, you can't wait till Thursday because it's too far away. That's what I mean. If you're thinking, oh, the new episode of the What's Happening podcast isn't out till Thursday, what day is it? It's only Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> you get early access to all of the public episodes, so you get it two days earlier. Ooh. Not only that... What else did you get? Patreon exclusive episodes, which is episodes of the podcast that are only released on Patreon. And that is a lot more personalised to the viewer. We take in fan fan submissions, like stories, questions. We read them out live on the podcast. And there is going to be monthly specials. We're not skint anymore, so we can actually afford to do it. We've just recorded some fucking brilliant ones. There's loads more to come. If you're not on the Patreon, you're missing out. Get on it. Get over there. And if you're already on the Patreon... Thank you. We love you. Yeah. You've already fed our egos, and now you're partially feeding my kids. So my kids love you. Do you right? want Gary's kids to die? No. Well, there's four of them, so I don't mind losing a couple. So. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod. See us over there. Four pounds a month. Bye. Hello, welcome back. Episode 65 of the What's Happening Podcast. How are you all doing? Hope you had a marvellous week. In the studio this week, we've got Michael from Grail. Michael, how are you doing? Uh, for those of you who don't know who Michael is, Michael, tell tell them a little bit about yourself, just so they know. So I'm Michael I Owen, the shoe cleaners in Liverpool, Grail. In the Baltic Triangle, up, 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 up there yeah, in the town. Yeah, yeah. If, you, um, if, if ever you need any shoe repairs or shoe cleaning, I'd, uh, I'd highly recommend it. Yeah. I, had a pair, I had a pair of one sends. That one um, on the ass. Well, do you know what? I do a brand new... I'm convinced we little brother done this on purpose. Because yeah, he's out. a knobhead? We went out, he is. Uh, we, we went out on my birthday into town. And I was after the, um, no, the Kuis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just after yeah. a pair of them. And I'd seen them, I'd seen them in Transalpino. So I goes in to get a pair. And he, he was like, they're actually nice. He was like, I might get a pair as well. And I was like, I just can't get the same trainees as me. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, I'm not going out with you walking around with the same shoes on. <laughs> he was like, no, I'm getting a pair of me. I like them, so I'm going to get a pair. So me and him are walking around town like a pair of dickheads a few weeks later. In the same pair of trainees, jeans and a dead similar top, look like a pair of knobheads. <laughs> and just as we turned the corner, he stepped on it by the toe me shoe and burst the stitching on it. I'm still to this day convinced he done it on purpose, you know. Yeah, but yeah. took them into Grail, so fixed them back up. The Holy so, Grail, like a lot of Wait, so where did the name come from for the business? Um, it's not that exciting, like, isn't it? It's literally no, like, don't tell us then, leave it. Yeah, <laughs> Go ahead. No, literally, it's slang term from America. Like you're wearing the Holy Grail. Is that like it? Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. How yeah. did you get into it? Did you just walk down the street one day and see someone's shoes and go, oh, they're dead? Yeah, they're that's them. pissing yeah. me yeah. off. I need to be sure about this. Sure, like proper full fetters, haven't I? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I love it. Just sniffers no, no, <laughs> Like, so my background, I literally have before this typical Greek fish and chip shops. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. 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 That's sick, that, you so know. Whoop ass yamas and all that. Yeah, <laughs> love all St. that. St. Helens, man, was like pure backward. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, um, That's not where you want to be, that nah, at any point. Not at all. Like, no. Uh, yeah, won't even go there with them. But <laughs> literally, I needed to get out because yeah. the hours were shocking. Like, yeah. it was, I was getting home like 11 o'clock at night. I stunk all the time. Yeah. And all that. It's horrible. A smash plate. Yeah. Of St. Helens. Yeah. St. Helens. Yeah. yeah. Stunk of St. Helens so, and yeah. then fish and chips. And I just threw it up for sale. Luckily enough, got a bite straight away, and then I was like, Well, look at the fish pun there, got a bite straight away. Reel them in, yeah. Hey. Zero hey. night. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, shit, what am I going to do here? So I just ended up Googling best new businesses in LA. 
And it was a fella over there. Who was As if that. that's how you. How many so people? Have, sick, how how many that. people have, like Google best businesses and fell on their ass? That, exactly. <laughs> wow, that's mad. Yeah. That's sick. And then one night, I was I started doing it from ours while I was selling the shop and that. And then I got bladded, went to a camp and furnace night, like a Lee Butler Dave Gray night. <laughs> yeah. And I took a load of my business cards and I was literally going around looking at people's webs a bit like what you yeah. said, going, you've got designer webs on, there's my card. <laughs> just going, I was going, lad, you're a scruffy cunt, you know, you <laughs> yeah, need to come watch, to yeah. me, lad. Just for going around, spilling yeah. drinks, people's webs going, yeah, lad. <laughs> oh, lad, sorry <laughs> about that. He, he bought the whole camp and furnace as red wine. <laughs> it was just swilling people. <laughs> Get them clean here, you know. A little water going with red wine in. Ah, oh, yeah, lad, funnily enough, I've got cards with me, actually. <laughs> Yeah, by chance, like, yeah. I, I just always been into because like, I know some people that proper like some people it's like a hobby for some people, like high end trainees or like rare trainees. You've always been like into them and shit like that. Yeah. But never thought I want to clean them at all, or anything like that. Because I always sort of looked after my stuff anyway, yeah. But just by chance, that that came about. I was thinking that might work. And you know, um, what's the DJ Ant Armstrong, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was just by chance, I didn't have a clue who he was mm. at the time. Bumped into him, gave him a card, and he was one of the first to get on me. And like boss, he literally gave me a shout out straight away, and it just sort of went from there. I know because you have me. got you you've sort of got that reputation now, where to the point where it's like, oh, go and get your shoes clean. It's like, oh, go to Grail. Yeah, 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 yeah you've got yeah. that sort like, of. That's amazing because, uh, like, I don't know if you've ever noticed, I'm very quiet until recently on my social. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know you were a person. Yeah, like every time I look on Grail, I was like, "Who's this Grail kid?" Yeah. Couldn't fucking get me out of there. People think my name's Grail. <laughs> you know, I have to, like, I have to, like, I, do you know, do you know why I got your name? Go on. I went on Company's house and searched on like people on your company registration and found your name. I was like, your name? What? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, Lenta Tenner. No, that's how I got your name because you got your mask and everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, these are, these are. Redressed me, Mars as well. <laughs> <laughs> so is this one. We're just my, not your mask, my mask. <laughs> oh, the tax man's not I watching. I can't wait until the tax man turns up and watch me market and plow by a fella. It's like, oh, I was that, that one. <laughs> yeah, you're, right, you're a hidden man. Yeah. No, we get like mostly it sounds bad all the Somalis coming in like you're right, grey lad. Like, <laughs> I've, I've, I've got you saved on my phone as grey lad. Grey lad. What's the time, grey lad? What's that? And grey lad. How long's the shop been going for? Oh, uh, 2016. Oh really? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. So just me by myself, and then I had lad renting upstairs. Remember exec? No, I no. Used to sell the second hand clothing upstairs, and then I got too busy, so we had to move out. So do you own upstairs as well? Yeah, it's all part of the one shop. Is, it all, is that like a workshop thought, upstairs now? I'm never going to get that busy now. Any studio spaces probably... going? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. There is a shop next door. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So you started on your own? Yeah, yeah. It's mad because like kitchen. where you've come to now because like when I went in the other day to get my webs off here, yeah, it was chocolate. It was just fucking... I remember going on like school trips and there was just like brown pack lunches everywhere, like the yeah. paper bags. That's oh, what right. it looked like. There was just brown paper bags full of webs. You had like five or six staff in the back and I was like, yeah, no, this is flying. Like it's... It, don't get me wrong, it's amazing. It's more stressful than any job I've ever done. Though. Really? Yeah. Really, yeah. Because it, there's just deadlines on everything all the time. Like, yeah. you do a chippy, you do it there and then. Yeah, on. yeah. Whereas these, you've got some big John in front of you, like, I need my webs doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like mine, mine were in a state of disrepair. Like, they were finished. They were on the lazies. And I went in as a last hope. It's like, listen, can you just try and save these? Like, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd given up on them. And... When you get a big job like that, it's not like you can go, yeah, seven day turn it down because you've got a fuck on it. You said you have to send them away. Yeah, no, they got stitched that. and all that. So it's so, waiting on air and that. But yeah, some of them you get, you just, there's no reasoning with them, you know what I mean? Have you ever yeah. had any like trouble or beef off any of them? Um, I had one and it was a bit mad. Like, so <laughs> Peter Valentino's, he was like, I'm going on holiday, I need them done today, but I won't get there till five. So I waited behind for them. And they come in and they were pretty fresh, but they had this big pink sticky shit all on the side of it uh. yeah. and i got it off don't get me wrong but like it was on the suede bit so it wasn't fantastic yeah especially in a day he come and picked them up he turned up late my lights were off <laughs> it's like there you go is that right for you <laughs> but luckily enough at the time <laughs> some lad had come in that i know he was a good customer and he knew him yeah so they were chatting and that was that got off went home opened up my instagram and i've got all these voice notes off this lad and he's like lad you fucked my shoes up what am I meant to do? I'm going away. You fucked my shoes up. And I'm like, um, oh, and I'm just voice notes after voice notes. And it's, so I ended up just messaging him saying, you had some horrible, no, I didn't. You've ruined it. It's your fault. And I was like, right. <laughs> Kiss okay. three times for the <laughs> So I was like, I don't know what you want me to do. I can sort it for you. But when you're back, but like, blah, blah, blah. So in the end, I rang the lad that was in at the time. And he was him. just like, not a nice kid. Him. He likes to stab people. I was like, 
Ah, that, that fills me with like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's changing the soul for some yeah. new shoes. That's changing it all. Well, I think to be honest, I was like, you saw them, is like, and he was like, you know, I sorted them out, and he was like, go on, let me have a word with them. Didn't hear the thing since. Never fair even enough. Again. No, nah. Fair enough. So yeah, fair play to that lad. Like, <laughs> he saw the Both killed each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, to be honest, the one I was messaged, he's a nick. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. You're not yeah. on the right lines. Yeah. 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 So is there is there is there any job that you can't do? Not like in terms like shoes. Like has anyone ever brought in a pair of shoes and it's like lad, they are beyond <laughs> repair? Yeah. Just bro. brought in a pair of laces, gone fixed out. Like. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a pair of one sends that. Yeah. Uh, one sends are bad for it. Like you know they just crumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many of them. And there's is it true that? that you can pump the bubble up in one sense? Do you know what? It's, it, it is and I it isn't. I thought it was. It's certain ones. So if you lift the... Um, the so it's like a little yeah, valve, a hole, isn't it? But some of them do go in. Some of them don't. It's, it's certain years, but like it's like one year that they made them where mm. you could get in. That's oh, it. That's mad, that. So you're adding a couple of inches on there if you were being extra cheeky? Yeah, big fat. Oh, lovely. <laughs> 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 but yeah, is there any... Uh, uh, do people bring... Uh, is it like a... Not a common thing, but like... Do you get a lot of people who come in and it's like, lad, throw them in the skip, lad? Oh, yeah. All the time. Really, yeah. Because they see what you can put on the gram and then you're like, it does look good. Yeah. But they bring in and it's like, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you want me to do with this? Sorry, yeah. Yeah, like seriously... You know what I mean? Just, yeah. just lash them. Yeah, just like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They finished them, me. Just, just a skip in the back. <laughs> that was it. There was a lad, I think, what was it? Yesterday, you, ra- you came in, and you know the way yours are a bit ripped at the back and that? Yeah. These are like through and over, if that makes sense. Yeah. So there was, there was nothing to stitch into at all. Two pairs of the same webs, and I was like, they're done for. I, like, there's no point in me yeah, even seeing yeah. if our seamstress could fix them, because I know the answer already. She was like, you sure? I was like, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm really sure, yeah. He rings the shop, speaks to someone else. He went, just been in, but are you sure? Uh, <laughs> like fixed and lad, I've, I was like, been, I've been in the business seven yeah. years. Lad. He gets on the phone, he goes, listen, lad, I am Grail. No, <laughs> yeah, but he spoke to someone else, and he's like, Grail. what's your opinion? He's like, well, I'll go with the boss, because he knows yeah, more than me. Yeah. And, and he's he paying me like, for home wages, lad. <laughs> I mean, so. and it's not like you're going to turn away the customers, are you? Like, if you can fucking sort them, you're going to sort yeah. them. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, because you take money out of your ass pocket by turning people away, so um, why would you do exactly. it? Exactly. Sometimes and you want to, like, even if you can. Yeah. Because you just know, it, no matter what you do, they're not going to be happy with it. Yeah, Because yeah, 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 the yeah. thing is, you you have a price list of, like, the services you offer. You have, like, you know, like, four different base sorts of options, and then you have additional options, yeah, don't yeah. you? If you get a pair of webs that come in, you're not charging them by the hour. So even though it's going to be a deep clean, a couple of stitches and fucking something else and it's going to be, say, 45 quid. You could do a pair of shoes for 45 quid and have them done in four hours worth of, like, fucking exactly. time. But you could have one that takes 60 and hours and you're still only charging 45 exactly. quid. Yeah. Yeah. So you're actually earning less money on them shoes because the amount of man hours you're putting oh, into 100%. it. So there's no point accepting stuff that's fucking on its lazies because... You're just gonna bang yourself out, aren't you? Doing fucking shoes that are yeah, grim. No, totally. And is that all you do? Is his shoes? Is you don't do like we clothes? Do bags as well. Oh, bags. That's like the extent. I don't like bags, like but. I like handbags in there. Yeah, Danny yeah, loves bags on a Saturday. Some the packet. Write it off a day. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more. It's more just the shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. is it? Is it? Is it mostly men's? No, pure mixture. Like oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. You would say uh, the majority of the women's coming in worse condition than the men's. Like. Yeah, I that can doesn't imagine, shock you me. Know, that doesn't I can me. imagine. Yeah, it's just mad like... And what, heels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a proper connoisseur with the heels now. You I must know every pair of shoes, yeah. <laughs> uh, you must know every pair of shoes by the name and, like, what year, like a, like a car Yeah, edge. like, proper. It's mad the stuff you learn. Like, for example, one tens. Do you know there's a quality control on one tens? No, what, what, what you mean? So if you open the box, you'll see a little tiny sticker that'll say QC and it'll have a rating one to five. Oh! So when they're in the factory... They're actually rated. So if you get, say, which way does it work? It's one way or the other. But say you get a five, for example. Five's like good. Oh, but be, you don't know what way it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So if you get a five and it's shit, you know, that's the other end. But you guarantee that five will have quite a big defect on it, like a big lump of glue here or something like that. Oh, and really? And then yeah. vice versa. So if you get, like, a mid-range three. But the shop is still seldom. They're still sell them. So if you get, like, when that's the pink phone comes checking out. boxes, lad. Like, yes, no, I know, I yeah. You've heard it here first. I don't know, yeah. That's so. I didn't know that. Yeah, that is, yeah. That's inter- It makes sense because, like, it's like that in any sort of manufacturing industry. Like, mm. every like, I work in a car factory, and not every car is the same. There's you defects on stickers on the car. Yeah, <laughs> not, not to do. So, not when you buy it in the dealership, but like when it goes out the door, every car has a passport with it, and it has every single test that it's been through, every sort of firewall and quality check, and then it has a rating to say, like, that's fucking shit. There's a defect, there, a defect there, but. You'd have a guideline of what's allowed to go through, so you'd have an yeah, upper end and yeah. a lower end, and you go right as long as it's in between them two, it's acceptable. 
be like like car seats, the leather, right? So you'd have branding and scarring of cows that transfer to your seat. Oh, so you'll have scars in your leather and there's a certain length of scar that's acceptable. So you could get a car oh. seat that has a big scar off a cow who's being fucking rubbing against the fence or something. It's mad. Oh, I fucking hell didn't know that. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. That is mad. What I want to know though, right? Because as you oh. said, like you start that you just said fucking what's the next best business in LA and all that. Yeah. I couldn't just pick up, pick up a pair of webs and start sewing them. Yeah, yeah, How did you learn? How did you teach yeah. yourself? YouTube, mate. That is. Ah, that really? Is really? Yeah. Yeah. The way you really? From a success story, this, yeah. you know. That fucking boss. So just literally anything I've ever wanted to learn. I just Google and uh, look, watch a yes. video on it, just like YouTube's the way forward, yeah. isn't it? I, I reckon I could learn how to do open heart surgery on YouTube, you know. I reckon if I put the man out in videos, like a hundred percent, no, f- uh, no footage, like yeah. I reckon you can pick a few Defo. tricks up, like yeah, put them bins on though. Oh yeah, yeah. Sunny and he, like. <laughs> Have you seen <laughs> that fella right, on, on YouTube? Keep them on, you look good, lad. Seen the fella on YouTube who started the YouTube channel years ago. Um, forget what the name of the YouTube channel was, but it was for kids who were growing up with no with dad. No and dad, he, yeah. And he'd teach you how to do like basic things like tie a tie or yeah, something. Yeah, and like how yeah. to change your oil. And the, yeah. Oh my God, Gary, I'll get you on it, lad. Yes, yeah, son. I'll, I'll get on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Bobby have got no dads. Heavy, innit? Yeah. 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 Did you see that one the other day? The um, the gardener? No. Uh-huh. Have you seen him? So he goes around, finds these gardens, like I think it's America, like that are just shit tips. Mm. And he'll go, I'll clean everything up, mow your lawn, do your garden, looking amazing for free. As long as I can video, video it. it. I was speaking about him the other yeah. day in the comedy club. So he's making a fortune off, off the videos. Off his videos by just cleaning people's gardens up. Because you're not going to turn that away, are you? Exactly. I can't even clean your own garden. Come up garden. With, innit? <laughs> yeah, it, it is mad. It is like you can make money out of virtually anything. Yeah. And it's people who just think against the grain. Like there wasn't many fucking shoe cleaning services in Liverpool or repair services. Like, you, you, I don't know if you've got much competition. No, I know of one kid in the Whittle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. all I know of. I've not no, seen they, anyone they, else. They popped up now. The, easy, the, the stupid thing is, because you can go out, you can buy a bottle of shoe cleaner and a brush. Yeah. That makes you a shoe cleaner, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 When you don't know what you're doing you're on right? a certain shoe and you fuck it up, that's when I then yeah. get the, the aftermath. Like, yeah. I'm not going to name names, but there's ones out there that just think, oh, I can just slip. Like slap paint on every bit of the shoe, yeah, the sole included, yeah, and, and he paint them. Ah, oh, mate, mm. it's it's a joke. Like, like if repainting the bottom of Louboutins, and the yeah, like that, they just paint the full of that. And I've seen one actually With paint emotion. the red on a pair of traps toe. Uh, what just <laughs> normal saying? Yeah, not not the like the leather ones that just uh, proper. And you are like, and then you'll get them in all peeled off the side. Like, can you fix that for us? And you're like, mm. yeah, you're like that on the fucking face, mate. Yeah, oh, should have painted them. Like, so. I fucking. I I I see I seen a bird. Um, I can't remember where it was. I was in town somewhere on a night out. She stood in um, she stood in a shit in town. <laughs> she was she, this bird was like she's like me fucking lubes hands. Oh shit! All up her webs and I probably brought them into you after yeah, it. Yeah, it's fucking horrible. Lad. I stuck. mean, shit you can get off. I mean, it, you probably you probably get well worse than like just shit. Ah, mate. Like, can you? Sorry. Go on. Have you ever had blood? Yeah. Like, oh, that's yeah. the one I was gonna say then. Putting the cock doors <sighs> down. We've had a few blood ones. There was one. And it's heavy that cleaning crime scenes in your garden. It, it takes a lot for me to like get sick off shoes. Like, and not, I don't mean cleaning shit, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. me physically go, Whoa. And this lad brought, and he brought them in in the bin bag and he just dumped them on the counter. A pair of uh, the old B22s, and I was like, Sound. And he went, oh, I've had them in the bin bag for two weeks. I was like, Right, okay. And he went, But I got stabbed and I beat her in the ass. I was like, Okay. And he said, So it's it still covered in blood. Right, and I didn't think to expect what it was going to smell like. It smelled like dead bodies. Just dead stunk. bodies. Oh, really? I literally yeah. opened up and I was like, "Oh, mate!" And like, I'm not ashamed to admit this. I stuck them in the washing machine because I could not get any. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> lovely lad. And I stuck them in. I stuck them in the washing machine after I took them home, put them in the garden, and stuck the hose on them. And there was just blood running really? from yeah. them. Oh, it was disgusting. That's Still couldn't get the smell away. All in like the 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 the, the, the like the cottony bit in in, in yeah, the entire just all right that. through. So it was just like. Wet blood just running out everywhere. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anyway, what happened before. How much are a pair of them webs? Yeah, like a grand, are they? Are they? The, really the B22s? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, I'm selling mine on eBay. Are they actually a <laughs> grand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got mine from um what's the what's the outlet village by um Cheetah Mill. No, no. <laughs> In Oxford. Right. Starts with a B. <sighs> Bister Village. Bister. Ah, I got mine. Good job, Yori, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. I got mine in Bister in one of the outlet st- shops for in the Dior outlet shop for 140 quid. What, the yeah, B22s? The B22s, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, there. Let me just, let me Google it, but I'm sure it's the ones, th- 
Yeah. Did everyone was proper rock and round on? Yeah, yeah. like the chunky soul thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah. 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 don't want any very lad. You're selling them. Do you ever do that? Does anyone ever come in with shoes and then they're like, fix them and sell them on? Like flipping houses, like flipping webs? As in, I fix them and sell them on? No. The reason being is because he used to have the lad upstairs. And then I do a lot of cleaning for resellers oh, as well. Okay. I'm sort of stepping on their toes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you could just go around like charity shops and collect them webs and just like fucking oh, massively. reviving them and selling them. Oh. Yeah. That's so a brilliant idea. He's upstairs. lying, isn't he? So I don't have the B22s. What are the other ones called? Uh, the ones that everyone used to like. The B17s? Yep, yeah, that, that, they're the ones I'm talking Stay about. Stay now, bit. Oh, that's E17. Yeah, yeah, do you know what happened today, right? Go on. Reminded me then. <coughs> I don't know even how it reminded me of it. We were walking through town. Stay, <laughs> out with Elliot and we meet Josh. Walking through town. <laughs> and we were walking by um by like where the F stand oh shit where the F stand is it's on Hanover Street yeah, yeah, just yeah. on the other side of the road and we're walking Josh is in the middle of the two of us and we just did fuck off like that this is literally a few hours ago and he's 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 turning our fume going what the fuck was that thinking someone's to do something at him and then we looked on loads of birds shit but like I'm talking massive birds it's like big seagull uh, shit hit the floor uh, round and just bang 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 all down him. the floor and he went. <laughs> Oh my god! And then he looked, and then a bitch just ran down as far as it was on his hand. And it, oh. it was on. You got a bit flicked it. It goes. It went on my legs from it. I was going. What are you? What are you? It's meant to be good luck, but it's not. Oh, listen, that. I'm not messing right because his hair is quite long as well. So it's just it was all in his hair and everything. But I'm not messing. It sounded like someone threw an egg at him or something. Yeah. It hit his head and probably went fuck off when it hit his head. <laughs> we made, he had a bottle of water with him. Elliot had to go in the shop and buy another another litre bottle of water. And was was tipping it on. Town. He was tipping clear water on his head and it was running out of his hair green. It was fucking nah, horrible. Nah. If I was like a bird though, I'd, I'd have fun with that. You'd, have to, you'd have to try <laughs> with did you know? Yeah. Did you know that eye drops are like a laxative? So we did it in Cardley and we put eye drops on bread and put it in the yard and all the pigeons and that scrammed them and then just started pebble dashing the yard. <laughs> <laughs> and do you remember M- M- Mr. Sanderson, yeah, music yeah, teacher yeah, with the big Sandoi. bald head, yeah, 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 big, swimming, one. big swimming cap head. Um, he was on the yard and we were like late coming off break and he was shouting at everyone in the bed, went <laughs> all over his oh, big staff head, no lad, as well. <laughs> big dirty shits. <laughs> I've only ever been shit on by a bed once and it was, we were outside. Well, like a his bed. <laughs> no, like, like on my feathers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Just I've been shit on my bed multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> um, but one, one with feathers. <laughs> um, no, I was, I was outside the library in time, and I was stood there, and it was when I smoked bifters for like three weeks before yeah. it was dead cool. I was like 19, and I was like, nah. What bifters did you just smoke? I can't remember, you know, it was just bifters. Sterling's and all I think all it was Sterling's, you was the mental one. Oh, ones, you clicked I, them, you yeah, like, yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah that's that's how from I was like, mum, I smoked bifters now. I'm going in the garden. Um... <laughs> and then fucking, I was stood there, and I remember as well, me and Elliot again, we were with these two birds, and like, we, we, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be in trying to kick into one for a bit, so I was just stood there, I was like, I just want a birthday, trying to be just trying to be there, <laughs> no, no, and she didn't smoke, you <laughs> know what I mean? It's Once, just to get it out there that like, you've yeah, got birthdays, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, do, do, do you want a birthday? Nah, go ahead, well, listen, if you want one, get on me, I've got, <laughs> I've got, I've got, I've got a fresh 20 of them, I've got some minty fellas there, <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking, stood there. Yeah, that's probably a reason, licorice. And then, <laughs> I just felt this little dry, so this little cold, just, and I was like, ah, oh, is it raining? And then he just went, oh. and I was like, what? I was like, is it raining? Yeah, come out. I was like, let me just finish my bath. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and go inside. And then he was like, Danny, I'd, I'd wipe your face out. And I was going, oh, why? It's only rain. I was like, I just, he's going, oh, I'd what, wipe your fucking face now. And I opened my camera on my phone, and there was just a little bird shit just down my cheek. And it was oh. fucking horrible, you know. Well, it's shit. not even bird shit. It's bird shit and piss, because they don't have a... They, they, they do a it from the same place. Yeah. Do they? They do what? it from the same place, yeah. They yeah. yeah. shit from the same yeah. hole. Yeah, yeah. yeah so... Mm-hmm. Piss and shit. Just a nice mixture. Yeah. No, yeah. I found out the other week. Go on. What did you find out the other week? Someone ever ducks mate. Mm. The like, old like wait, like <laughs> like become friends. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. two <laughs> when they fawn okay. Yeah. No, yeah. When 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 two ducks are shagging. When two ducks goose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so fucking <laughs> the 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 male ducks, the mallards, um, always rape the female ducks. That's a fact. That's I've never wanted to be a duck so much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I have to, I'm only messing, it's just a joke. Jesus the males shit. want to be green heads, aren't they? Yeah. The brown ones. Is that what they call them? Mallards. Apparently, mm-hmm. love, right? Ma- mallards. love it, apparently. But, but how is that proven? How is that like? Well, I, I don't know, but I'll It's not like it. ducks give consent. No, because listen, because no, <laughs> so, so, someone's t- do one quack for yeah, two quacks for no. <laughs> <laughs> like when, you've been, like, when I'm fishing and you see like one little fellow mallard just fly over to him and go, <laughs> 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 
I'm all <laughs> cause, cause, cause <laughs> someone told me the other week. Sammy, and then I who told, told you this? Well, like, I'm, I'm sure it was Dean Coglin, you know. That's how my bear had four kids when she was asleep. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sound. Is that why you got the green hat on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But no, yeah, I'm no, sure no, it was no, Dean Coughlin told me, and then... He's from St. Helens. I, I took the dog <laughs> for a walk. Oh, he knows. He took the dog for a walk by ours, and then there was, there was, a, there was a female dog. You the going, I've seen a rape. <laughs> no, there was, there was, there was, um, there was, there was, there was, there was two mallards. I was following this little female duck around the lake, and this female duck was like screaming, like, get off! <laughs> and all that. And I love it, you know what I mean? Imagine ducks got so And then, um, like, fuck off, you! Yeah. <laughs> and then she starts, like, like, flying, and then, like, the two, the two ducks just gripped the lad, and I was stood there, and I was like, like, I wanted to look away, lad, but like, like. Eiffel Tower and all that. <laughs> like, I wanted to look away, but I was like, what, what the fuck? So yeah, I like, yeah, wanted to look away, so it's not the one. No, <laughs> but I was like, because I was thinking, like, surely they don't. I was like, ducks are lovely, you feel you give them bread. You <laughs> know what I mean? And then I was, yeah. I was looking and I was like, shit, they do. And, like, and then she's like, that army webs are full of cheers, I've got to go to Crayon. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fucked, lad. <laughs> so, um, in, what, t- talk me through your aim. Um, have you got like a normal process that you just follow when someone brings in a pair of shoes, or is like, Every job different where it's like there's some things you do to a shoe that you wouldn't do to another shoe or yeah, 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 yeah. things like that. But so there's not like a set process, it's just you sort of know, oh yeah, that needs blah blah blah. Yeah, so it's just literally down to the shoe. So like obviously you don't get that much variation in the sense of like you get a one ten, you get a night train, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you get like or a Louis or whatever. But say one suede, or you know what colour suede runs or yeah. something like that. Yeah, or yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Don't know what's gonna like a there's a certain D squared one, which, or a Hermes, where they, they're actually leather on the underside of the mesh. Yeah. So if you wet that, you know that's just going to run. Right. But I've learned all this the hard way, you know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. <laughs> Have you ever fucked someone's webs worse? Oh, amazing. Yeah, I've spent money out on shoes. Like yeah. Really, yeah. 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 Oh, so heavy. I had a lad working for me. He's, he's, Have you sacked anyone for just being shit? I felt like this. Day, like, oh. Oh. <laughs> no, to be honest, it wasn't his fault. Ah, f- <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it's on the internet now. Was your fault? You didn't. Yeah, yeah. He's in New Zealand now. Actually, give him his you like he's just pissed off around the world. Just yeah, but he, he, um, just a stream B twenty two. Yeah, and he just went to town on the, the reflector bit on B twenty two and peeled it all off. Oh <gasps> no! And I was just like, wow, what have you done there? So <laughs> the lad come in. I was just literally, sorry, we fucked your shoes up. I'll give you the money for a brand new pair. So I have been made up. So we still got, yeah. he still he got, got a brand shoes. new pair. We got to keep them, and to be honest, I still spun them for four fifty. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah it sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you, there's a lot of money at stake on certain webs shoes. And like, wow, people, yeah. yeah. And people are just fucking ripping reflective slips off. I don't know, mate. I've had a few. No, no like there's literally as I first opened. So there's a um, he used to play for Everton. Hope Hope Akpan. Remember him at all? Nah. nah, he done like then he went down to lower leagues and all like that. Lovely fella, always used to bring his shoes and like collection like uh, Val- uh, Valentino mm. and all that type of stuff. So this one time he had his in and he got told what day to come back, but he hadn't come. Then there was another lad called Jordan to come in and he dropped his in. So I was just sorting them all out. Shoes got mixed up. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> straight away I'd give jo- sorry I give Hope Jordan's webs. So I phoned Hope straight away. I was like, listen, I've give you the wrong pair of trainees. Um, can I shoot down now? I'll just swap them. I've got yours. He's like, nah, like these lads aren't getting them. <laughs> oh, straight away, he's like that. You're joking. I was like, why? What's up? I can just shoot down now. So he went, oh, lad, my car got broken into last night. All my webs got robbed out of my car. Like, oh, oh, why would you keep them in the car, though? He just parked up because he threw them in his boot and just oh, went in. Oh, no way. He's <laughs> like, what am I meant to do here? So I literally like had to phone this lad and say, listen, this is the score, but I will get you a brand new pair. And he was like, okay, this sounds a bit weird. I was like, no, serious, legit, and all this. It does sound mad, yeah, though, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But I was like, because I was I saying... I give your shoes to a foot, an, to an an Everton ex- footy player, yeah. right? <laughs> and he was he was just like, oh, I don't know about this, just give me the money. And because he was being a bit funny with me, I was like, no, I'm getting you a pair of webs now. Yeah, I'm not giving yeah. you money. So, do you know End? The, the no, shop? No, no. no. So there's a shop online called End, and they had a sale on where it was like three fifty instead of five fifty. Yeah. Here. So I was like, that'll do. Ordered them. The lad at end was boss. He got them sent out that day and everything. And then I phoned the lad said, I've got your webs here. I'll come down. And he was in a, a pub in West Derby. Went down, he come out and he was like, let me see the receipt and all that. Well, I know it's legit. Showed in the email. What's this end? I've never heard of it. And I was like, legit and all that. And he was like, ah, oh, this is all dodgy, this, mate. I was like, it's a proper shop. Showed them online. He was like, that took them. Never heard anything. About two weeks later, he rang me again. I was like, oh, what the fuck now? <laughs> You clean these webs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally <Did> he? it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, make it even better. He'd been bottled in town. 
Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> I blood all over them. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> That's <laughs> heavy, that. He's like, there's some kid in town fucking square enough to he's going, lad, you got to receive for them, we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I've got another mad story about birds, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he's on one today. No, I just, just, I just remembered it then, so what, I like was... Um, feathers? Like, like, of the avian variety. Oh, right, okay, okay. Um, I, I was by... I get. I was by a lake again. I was by. I was by a lake. The one. He's just going mallard watching him. Like no, the, the one in uh, the, the, the little lake in Kirby with the little cafe by it, by the park. Oh, Kirby's just amazing. Like, it's, it's a mad place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there anyway the other day. I was having a joint, obviously sitting there chilling, and there was loads of geese. Like there's usually like five geese that are always at this lake. Mm. But this time I went down. There was the five geese over there, but then another four geese, but they had about, I'm not, I'm not even messing, there must be about 12 baby geese with them. They didn't know how big baby geese were, by the way, they're fucking huge. <laughs> that geese are heavy, like geese yeah, wingspan. Geese are evil, that, lad. Like the Chinese use them for like guards and that, don't they? They have guard dogs, they have like guard geese. <laughs> Fuck off, lad. I swear lad. down, oh, Google it. aggressive. When I, Google it? When I was guard a kid, geese, lad, 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 Google it now. Google it. Listen, like geese are aggressive, lad. When I was a kid, <laughs> I was a little baby, my mum was carrying me and she had to run, run away with this geese. <laughs> We were walking across the field and this goose bit her on the arse cheek and then tried to leg her so she had to run across this field carrying me when I was a baby. I had to swear to her. Told you. Geese are evil, lad. <laughs> geese are fucking oh, horrible. I thought that was the geese then. No, it was his company house. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Showing but you yeah, the yeah, address. But yeah, so anyway, I was at the stake the other day and like obviously because there's all these baby geese there, they were getting their protective so every time like a pigeon or anything walked past, they were all hissing and that. And this fella walked past walking. It's mad the way they hiss. Yeah, and they was like, mad the way they hiss. Look at this. Well, yeah, right there. Like, that, because that, it was dead weird. I was sitting there and it was one of them things, you know, you've got to be like, surely that's not just happened. This fella's walking past with this little shit too. And these geese are like, <laughs> hissing at this fella's dog. And as the fella's walked past, he's glanced back. And just back heel this goose in the air. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not messing. He's walked past him. And, just, and, just, and he just went, fuck off. Just and bone, just, and it? Not, not even that hard, but the goose was just a thing on. <laughs> so, so he was like, like, oh, what the fuck? The like? goose went, lad, I'll get our kids to rape you, lad. I swear. <laughs> what, <laughs> uh, what if it was that the Queen owned? Swans, swans. Yeah. swans. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. We done it. We nearly got nicked. Um, Nugent Park. We, the little island on Nugent yeah, Park. yeah, yeah. Part of the island, like at the end, all the carp used to like fucking just congregate at the bend, and you couldn't really cast out to it because the overhanging trees were nightmare. So we waded out to the island and just like poked our rods through the bush. Yeah. And so next minute, yeah. Mm -hmm. And next minute, all, like the busies and the animating agency turned up and were like, "Fucking, you need to get off the island. It's it's the home of the swan, the protected species. You can get arrested and all that trying to nick us because we were fucking fishing off the island. Wow. You got a few years for that. Have you come yeah. one of them? Yeah. Fucking shagging. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look, <laughs> do geese make good guard dogs? Well, no, because the geese not dogs. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Guard geese. geese have been used as guardian animals for exactly. centuries. Why? Because they're uniquely suited to the task. Not only are their peers and honks excellent alarms, but they are piercing honks. Yes, ah, but they are. That's what they do, lad. But they are extensively protective and more naturally suited to guard work than humans or even dogs. Sure, oh, lad. But how are you training? How are you training? A, 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 they fucking come at you, lad, and fucking injure. There's no way the most suited to it than humans, though. Like, what's a geese gonna do if it runs at me and, I, and, I, and I'm a guard and, I, and I'm armed? Can't they break your arms? They can break swans bones. Can. Swans and geese can break arms with like the wingspan with the idiot because they're that powerful. It's really, really yeah. evil, lad. That's mad, that. Geese are horrible, lad. And Horrible shit as well. The shit's like dead long. Like the shit's green. a big oh, arty. Yeah. When I was walking around, oh. like, there were, I'm not even messing. There must have been hundreds of just big, massive green pellets. Shit, like. Are they like normal tears or do they like bad tears? Like though? green. No, yeah, they're, they're, like, they're, like, they're like long green, like fucking um, hay, like pellets, like with all like hay. Horrible, them. lad. Horrible. Do you reckon you could get geese shit off a shoe? Have you seen how big a geese shit a no, goose shit is? No, you're talking to here, lad. Yeah, no problem. Talking to so, Talking about shit, lad. <laughs> I've seen a video. Of a snake pooing. Uh, yeah. How does that uh, happen? Yeah, lad, it's weird, lad. Horrible. It just comes out like a full fucking like tin of dog food, lad. It's mad. If you can find that video, put it on the screen now, just, 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 just for reference. Or maybe not. It's a snake shitting. I was listening to Joe Rogan and, um, oh shit, Shane Gillis. Yeah. The other day. And <laughs> they were talking about Shane Gillis was showing them all a video of some fella shagging a snake. <laughs> Well, I've, uh, I've seen that. I've, I've seen it. Talking about that I've not seen it. I've just yeah. I've seen a video years ago. The, the, I'm sure the fellas in the video were scousers as well. You know, they went fishing somewhere. They went carp fishing. Oh, I've seen uh, it. And and he he big carp, carp, and he just put on his dick in the fish's mouth. Like, I, like, but the thing is, carp have massive molars because they're oh, bottom did we feeders. Did speak about this yeah. recently? Yeah, so they're bottom feeders. So like, they crunch like fucking shells. Like, they eat like snails and off the bottom. So they've got massive molars at the back, like big crushing plates. If you're 
like Danny and blessed in the penis region, mm-hmm. and you go too far down that fucking carps grid, lad, he's chomping your helmet and squashing it. Mad that. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever shag the shoe? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to clean them. Just yeah. caught, just caught all in the shoe. Have you ever caught any staff doing anything weird with shoes? Like sniffing them or pooing in them or anything? That's <laughs> <laughs> me sniffs. Does he, yeah? yeah? A little sniffer. What? But you get used to it now, so you know if he's behind, he's like that. Just sniffing you, and you're like, what are you doing? Right, what? Yeah. Someone who works, yeah. to be fair, yeah. I like sniffing people. Like, not like, but like, if one of you's come in, and you've got a nice aftershave on, I'll go, hey, it's nice that, you know? <laughs> so I'm invading your space a bit. Do you know what I think's proper, gay? Do you know when, like, do you know when you've got an aftershave on, yeah. and another man is like, that's a barge. Uh, like, how do you know? Like, I do it to him all the time. Uh, I always do it to you. I always do it to you. you know, it's like, nice, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, it's just, it's just, it's like, like he's it, insecure, it, isn't he? No, it's yeah. not even that. It, it, if a bird does it to a mate, she's like, like, she recognises the perfume or even recognises an aftershave. It's like, yeah, yeah, but like, when, like, when another... It's weird, right? I can do it with a bird. No, but like... like I just think w- when another man can recognise what another man's aftershave is, it's like, why, why are you sn- smelling I, me that much? Lad, I, I've done it to Bobby a few times when this he has his John Paul Gaultier on. It's because I'm sure our David had it when I was growing up and like, it's yeah. just a smell and our David lives on islands, so we don't see him that often. So that smell just like reminds me of my brother, so I get all emotional and get yeah, a twitch in that. Yeah. <laughs> I look a cunt now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Just because Danny brother. walks around, there's Lynx Africa and that, yeah. know what I mean? Lad, yeah. Do you ever remember Lynx twist back in the day? The heaviest the old ones ever, lad. Do you, you mean like in general, the ones that just twist? No, it was called Lynx, Lynx twist. twist. Now, oh, talking yeah. about Lynx, though, lad, I was in Asda on Smithdown the other day and they've got new Lynx XL, which is a larger can. It was five pounds seventy nine. I was like, oh, fuck. I don't can't use links. Nearly on six bricks. No, I can't the use anti perspirant, lad. What do you do to make the shoes smell nice? Do you do anything? Just deodorise. Oh, just deodorant. Yeah, yeah. Clean the inside, but like the inner soles and that. Just deodorise. Is there any little tricks like fucking carbonate soda or anything that takes like smells away or anything? Um, like you say tea bags. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Tea bags, yeah. Yeah, just leave tea bags. Like ones that are being used. No, <laughs> no, just <laughs> dry ones. Like English breakfast, yeah. so you're going to be anything. Spill a brew in the shoe. Like, like, yeah. Camomile. Yeah. Yeah. Get that nice smell going as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, have I ever told you my tea bag story when I had a proper blonde moment? Oh, what? I was, I was a knobhead. Nah, nah, like, oh, I yeah. had a blonde moment. No, I did, right. I was I, a knobhead. I yeah. think I've told you. I was away with work. We had like this big fucking training event in, in Prague. And we had a coffee break and we went out and they had like all different like hot urns with all different types of coffee. And then they had this Twining's tea stand with like 52 different variations of tea. And I was just reading them. I was like, fucking chamomile, fucking Earl Grey. I lost these. And I went, English breakfast tea? But why would you have tea that tastes like sausage and bacon? And, that uh, <laughs> and then I just, I just felt everyone look at me and I just went, Ah, oh, I've had a moment there, haven't I? Oh, like, no dickhead, is it? Because I'm like, that'd be dick greasy, wouldn't it? Oh, imagine a breeze facing like brown sauce. Ah, uh, do you know what I don't, right? Do you know what I don't Is it involving beds? No, oh, it's God. involving a cup of tea. It's probably the most disgusting thing I've ever done, right? Go on, what? Put the Shh. milk in first or something? No, no, no. I'm well worse than that. Tea bag the tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so. Oh. oh. One of me, I'm not, I can't say what uncle it is, but one of them. Is it Uncle Nobbed? He's the one with the fat Nobbed and her bed. No. No, 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 no. Uh, he used to have a bird who none of the family liked, right? And she was, she, 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 she was harmless, but she was just dead rude. Like they'd come around to us and like watch the footy oh. also. Time for another wave from one of the sponsors, Bobby. What sponsor? Well, you'd be very surprised to hear that it's actually technicals. Technicals. That's it. That's it. Technicals. Uh, it's my dad on the telly, <laughs> flying. <laughs> yeah. What do technicals do, lad? What do they provide us? Well, te- with? technicals is a, a, an active, an active uh, gym and sports way. So you know whether you're into your walk in your mountains, you know sitting in your Mars, walking around town buying clothes, you know, like me, that, walk on the chippy. Uh, there you go. And Gary's got technicals on, which he wears to go the chippy in all the time, <laughs> every day, <laughs> twice a day sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> no, the thing is with it, though, right? The thing is with it, one thing I hate, do you know when you go on camping or yeah. you know you're going to be like, say you go on, a, on like a little hike or yeah. something yeah. and you fucking hell, uh, and, 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 and you go out and you, you're trying to buy clothes that are like, uh, you know, according to what you're doing. Yeah, like, yeah, contemporary. And that. you know, yeah, yeah very yeah, contemporary. Yeah. And, and, and you can't because you go into you go into fucking decathlon or go outdoors and you yeah. come out dressing like you're on a fucking geography school <laughs> technicals yeah. manage to keep it looking stylish but it's still practical as well yeah, it's aesthetically it's, it pleasing is, it, it is aesthetically, a- aesthetically pleasing, pleasing, pleasing the contemporary the some of them are red <laughs> 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 the great possibilities are endless <laughs> you want a blue top 
They've got them as well. <laughs> www.techlicholdsbrand.com. What's the code, uh, Danny? Who? It's happening to It's happening to What was you got to say? Get your 20% off. Techlicholdsbrand.com. Get on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come down to the house to watch the footy and that. And then she'd like, she'd fall and keep on the couch. But like, people have like, like snoring and I'm trying to watch the footy. So I'd, I'd be like, what the fuck? She, like, why is she even here? Like, she just ah, come Daddy, I'm, I'm your new answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought she was a horrible fat cunt lad. I didn't like her at all. Um, and, and like, she was just horrible. Like, like I remember we going around to my uncle and like, she was, <clears throat> she, she, she was quite. She was a bigger woman when he met her, but then she, she, she put a bit. Like of the way he was on. being nice there, you bigger, even though like for the she whole. She was thing, horrible, you're a horrible <laughs> fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a little bit on the plump side. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was portly, <laughs> um, and like, and and and, and like, she, they, she, so she started to put a bit of weight on, um, which I'm always against, and and. <laughs> Like, but like, she'd be like, I don't know why. And then we go around to my uncles and like, a seat on the couch, you'd have like all like crisp packets and empty biscuit wrappers around. And I'd be like, that's why, you fucking fat idiot. <laughs> anyway, um, and then there was one day, anyway, she was around the ours and she asked me for a cup of tea. And I don't know why, it just proper pissed me off. Like, she asked me, I was like, she's like, cheeky cunt. Like, I thought he would like you, you know, <laughs> now I've got to make you a brew. So I went in the kitchen and before I put the water in, and then I just went, wiped it on the other side of the cup and then falls. That's not enough, that. So I just put my finger on my bullet and then just rubbed it round, <laughs> rubbed it round the inside of the cup. Yeah, but and then, then that cup was your cup in the house, wasn't it? Yeah, but she used it, then it got washed, oh. so it was fine. <laughs> and, and, and then, and then fucking, and then and she was drinking this tea, and I was like, that cup of tea shines, yeah? She was like, ah, oh, it's lovely. I was like, is it, yeah? <laughs> is it, yeah? <laughs> it's got cream in it. <laughs> I was like, is it? You like it? Yeah, I'm I, like, go ahead. I've done something similar, so a job I had years ago. I was only a kid, by the way, that I was about fucking 15. <laughs> nah, I was, I, was, I, was, I was 18, 19, I was a full grown man. Um, Yeah, I paid taxes. And uh, <laughs> the boss had little man syndrome. Absolute knobhead, right? And he used to talk like this. He was like, Gary, Gary, get in the office now. I was like, fucking hate him, lad. He's a dickhead. And. He used to belittle me all the time, so it was a uh, yeah, fucking last if he sees it. Fucking, it was a heating and ventilation engineering company, right? Mm. And in the workshop, we used to make fucking ductwork for like ventilation. And his office had a little window and a little like kitchenette in front of it. And he'd come out and go, "Gary, make me a cup of tea." He'd always ask me to make it. It was loads of lads there, but it was always me. Oh, and I'd go, what I'd, one of them. And one day I'd, I'd been arguing with him. I was just pissed off, and he, he, I'd been arguing in the morning. And he come out. He went, "Where's my half one cup of tea?" And I was like, <gasps> "No." <"Sound." laughs> so I just, I just walked, walked, walked up to the kitchen. That's right, the little fucking sink and all that. Boiled the kettle, and he's just sitting at the desk, looking at me through the window. And I'm going <laughs> with his tea bag on me gooch, <laughs> and just, just, just like in, plugging it in my bum hole. Like I think I burst the tea bag a little bit because I've like tea leaves in my ass. And I was just going. Just like I had the sweatiest gooch ever, and oh. I was like just rubbing it for ages, and then like fucking as I bent down, I was like that spitting in his tea and all that. <laughs> I just stared. I was like, "Here's your fucking cup of tea." Just watched him drink it. I was like, "You cunt." They loved it as oh, well. I was made up, lad. I was like, "I hope you get fucking ginger age, little prick." <laughs> like, uh, I, I, Jack was in the kitchen with me, like when I was doing, it, and he's like, "You can't do that. You can't." I was like, "Shut, shut your fucking mouth, lad." <laughs> I was like, "She's, I was like, she's a cheeky cunt, lad." She's like, "Fuck, comes here to watch the match, falls a kip, I'm mighty on the couch." I was like, "Took it too far," and then fucking. And, and then and then he was sitting there and I was going, I was like, I said, it's a cup of tea nice, yeah? She was like, ah, oh, it's lovely, thank you. And he was sitting there going, <laughs> 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 on the couch next to me. I was like, oh, it's bosh, you know, one of the best things I've ever done there. Oh, by the way, Daniel, son. Hit yeah, me, me and Michael had a conversation before you arrived, right? And it's going to excite you massively. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we were talking about Patreon specials and that, right? Yeah. Do you want to enlighten Danny on what you've got available, potentially? So my okay. brother, he lives in Chester. He's got a... Um, What's meant to be the most haunted pub in Chester? Yeah. Yes. So what he's done because it's a it's like a three story building. Yeah. The top floor is a hotel. Okay. But he's changed the whole hotel into haunted rooms, and you stay over in them. Oh. <laughs> and there's like something stupid, like forty or sixty cameras, constantly recording at all time. He's got shows on like YouTube and all that at the moment. My oh. haunted hotel. You have to have a look. Fuck off. Yeah. Listen, we always talk about like. Oh, what can we do for a special blah blah? And he always ladies. says, "Nah, don't be doing no ghost ones. Nah, don't do no ghost I ones." Think, do you know what? Like, uh, You've got to do it. Too, though. And what is it? Is In it, webs. Um, have you? Do you watch? <laughs> it, what's the show on? What can um, you watch? It? I think it's on YouTube. What's it called? My Haunted Hotel. Shout out. Um, put, put them. Put once you find it. Put them on the screen. So um, on the screen. So what? Um, and 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 is it legit? 
Is yeah, it yeah, actually yeah, haunted? Haunted? So, like, I was just telling him before, like, he has this room called... The that it? Yeah. That's yeah. The, um, Send me that. The Grace doll room. So he's got this oh, doll, oh, Grace, which is... 21,000 subscribers. He's oh. flying. He's uh, meant to be, like, the most haunted doll in doll? the UK. Really? It's just in this room in a glass case with all chained up on a podium. What? All salt round it. Like your brother in the middle there. How can you tell there, Lucy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, a haunted bastard. doll. Nah, Wait, fuck that. Like salt, 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 salt round it so you can't. You're not meant to get anything from it and all that. Meant to protect it and shit. I'll blow the salt away. Bad if you did. That's a fuck. How good of an idea is that one? Ah, uh, uh, is shit scared? Bad. Uh, Let's see some I, mad I, shit I'm in there. I'm like. laughing like I'm not. I'd be probably the worst. Yeah, but it just the wrong six. Ah, fuck that. Lad. <laughs> A haunted like doll, yeah. They're the worst, they're the worst haunted <laughs> objects as dolls, lad. I don't know what it is. Oh, he's got a doll room. <laughs> like, literally just the whole room, just full of dolls all around, you know, like the kids' dolls. Yeah. And there's one in particular in the corner that's meant to have something. It just keeps throwing itself, like... <gasps> really, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's got it all on camera, like... And it's all legit, like, he's not, he's not on the legit. wind up. All legit. I've been there before, like, because when he bought it, it was not like that in the sense What did he buy it for, just to be a boozer, or...? So, this is the sad thing with us, another business we tried, so... Bach. When we had, so you've had a chippy, a so shoe we had the chippy, we had a haunted hotel. We must have always been into feet because we had one of those fish foot spa <laughs> things as well. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, like, you you yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we had one of them. I've always wondered if they can scan your asshole when you're in like that. Have you ever had to go with them? No, I've always Weird wanted to. Know, the feel water, 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 water. I nearly went to one in Bootle Strand, right? And I went in and I looked. <laughs> Not that sounds great. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. And I just looked and I thought, nah, they're minty them. So got off. Yeah, so we have one of them. And then fish bar. When we get rid of that, we started a ghost hunting company. So we'd go well, around to yeah. different venues, taking people and doing nights there. Like, but I still had the chip and everything. I just didn't have time. So we ended up going. Crap on some veneers, these yeah. aren't. Yeah. At the time, we we found the pub and we're doing nights there. And then the fellow was like, I'm getting rid. You're interested. So we took it. And he's just been there ever since. But That's then, like. Was it, was it known as like a haunted place yeah, before? Yeah. And all the Jews buy it and go, hey, use that. Yeah. No, no, it was no, yeah. no, no. Like some mad shit going on in there. Like even I've been in the been mad shit. Re- act, what, 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 listen, what? like fellas getting stabbed in the ass. We're all mates, yeah. Like on. actually, swear to God, seriously. What's yeah, the maddest yeah. thing that's happened when you've been here? Um, Out of sheer curiosity, my lads raping my lads. <laughs> I, don't know, I can't believe that that's true. <laughs> Seeing figure. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How clear? We, we think clear, this is. Like, we think this is haunted. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah because bad lads. Sweet. I know it's a it's a building and loads of people work here, but we record late sometimes and no one else is here. And you hear mad noises and like Danny sees like silhouettes walk past. I was and watching the, the podcast week? the other week and we both just yeah. turned at the same time. Yeah, and yeah. one and one episode, someone went. Oh, the way you keep saying this place is haunted. If you look at minute fifty four and twenty seven seconds, there's no just orbs. like a white orb that drops past. But my it, head. It, yeah. it's scatty though because it it's, it's not like wall. it's not like it could be like a watch thing because it looked like it was behind the curtain. Ah, but you could right, see it, and it was going down dead yeah, slow. It like drips down the wall. It was okay. horrible. Yeah. The way the worst one in here, we've said this fucking loads of times, but like I tell you because I've never told you, we were sitting here and we be, we were in here quite late as well. Yeah. One night usually, but usually we're out of here like. like like just between half eight and nine. Yeah, yeah. There was one night we were in here and it was a like half nine. So like, as far as we were away, there's no other cunts in the building at all. We're sitting here and right above, right above here, it wasn't like walking. It was like it, it was like someone like, sprinting, like like like, oh, yeah. like, yeah. like at least jogging, like up and then back and then back again. And we were like, what the fuck was that? Honestly, the, the, I think this because I I was I was a scatty kid. Me, I used to see fucking apparently I used to see ghosts and that all the time when I was a kid. Like I was saying fucking. When my dad's nan, like my great nan and dad, they didn't tell any of like the younger like grandkids until he got all like the, the stress or sort and the funeral out the way and that. They just kept it and stuff there. And uh, <laughs> I'm fucking. <laughs> my dad was out with his mates one night not long after it had happened, and I I I was only like four or five, so I didn't know what what had gone on at this point. And my dad's mates, missus was in ours with my mum having a drink. My mum sent me up to bed, and I've got apparently got halfway up the stairs and being like, hey, I can't get past him. Nanny lives on the stairs, won't let me get past. My mum was like, what? And then I was telling my mum what she was wearing and all madness. I got up and I, 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 I fucking described the outfit she had on the night she died and all weird shit like That's that. That's scatty yeah, lad. The, 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 I think the, the scariest thing I can remember was my dad used to have his own business on Edge Lane, you know where the retail park is? Mm-hmm. And then behind that, there's always little old units yeah, where yeah, the yeah, old yeah, old factories used to be. Yeah. Um, my dad had one of them years ago and he used to, like, he had a little business like, like repairing Land Rovers or rebuilding Land Rovers and that. And, um, I used to love it there on my half terms. I used to love like being on being on all the cars and that. So I was only a kid, about ten. And then he's asked me to go in the back and grab him something out of the back room, and it's where all the big stock shelves were. Mm. 
And um, the dog that we had at the time used to follow me around everywhere. So the dogs come in the back with me. And as, as soon as I've stepped in the room, the dog started growling. And like, like looking towards the back. And then as I've looked, it looked like a shadow. But like, it wasn't like against the wall. It was like stood in the middle of one of the aisles between the shelves. Just like stood there. No face or not. And just a shadow. Just like, boom, in the middle of the aisle. And I looked and just froze. I remember fucking just freezing. Just shit scared. And then the dog started barking and ran towards the back of the room. And then it just went, whoosh, it was gone. Yeah. It was horrible. Nah, not for me. That yeah. horrible. <laughs> but you've seen stuff in there, yeah, like a figure, like literally a sort of. So we had done a night, and we were actually doing, uh, do you know, glass movement. Where you all put your fingers on. Uh, it was all going oh, over the show. Yeah, yeah. But everyone's like, "Oh no, that's you!" So everyone took the fingers off, apart from these two lads, and they, it was just going. And they were like, "Hey, what's going on here?" <laughs> so then, I took a step back. It was one of the lads said he felt a bit sick and we had a medium there that night so she was like I'll take him out to get some air and we were on the middle floor can we bring a large with us so she took him out downstairs I'm not editing the anti-bit out now <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm stood there and it's like an L shape so I'm stood in like the corner of the L and I'm looking towards the only entrance to the room and I sort of turned away and then looked back and I just see this grey figure and he had a grey trachyon just walk across the room to go Maybe behind the bar. me webs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I went behind the bar looking for him. I'm like, where are you gone here? Like, his name was Robert. I was like, where are you? Couldn't find him anyway. I turned around and he comes up the stairs like, you just been behind there? He's like, nah. I was like, what the hell was that then? Couldn't find uh -huh. him. Went to our kid and I was like, just seen someone come behind here. And he went, where did you see them come from? I said, the door past the toilets behind the bar. I said, yeah. Everyone sees that. <gasps> Same figure oh. all the time. Nah! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sh 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 should we try and do it soon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we go and do it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, will we, we be able that. to get the footage from the cameras and that, do you reckon? I reckon so, yeah. Oh, shit. We'll be able to take our own as well, though. Yeah, we should. We should. So, like, diary room cams and all that. Well, I'm not being in a separate room. If we're going, we're all being in the same nah, room. Nah, we'll have to do challenges where we'll all have to, like... No, lad, no. I'm not, <laughs> no, lad. Nah, lad, Come I'm not on, doing lad. that. No, I am not being in a room on my own at any given point, lad. Not a chance. Why, lad? No, lad, yeah, not a chance. You have to sleep there as well, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bring you it, yeah. You take a sleeping bag and you sleep in one of the rooms. Come on, lad, think of the content. Nah, I'm scared. Oh, I, listen, I will if we can all be in the same room. Nah, one no, room. then. <laughs> and it's got a, um, a rocking chair right in the middle. No, no. A pentagram. <laughs> a pentagram, Randy? Yeah. Did, did you throw that over that just there? No, we put Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you say fuck that. that. Yeah, no, we put it there. But it, it, it got caught rocking in there. Really? No, yeah? no. Oh, lad, <laughs> look no at Danny. Danny shit. No, lad. I don't know about that, you know. <laughs> Where uh, is it? Chester. Where about in the centre? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ye old King's Head. Oh, I don't know, lads, you know. Because like, there's sh shit like that, like, apparently, like, if, if you only get, like, a ghost, then, like, uh, the, 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 the ghost apparently, like... Follows your own. Yeah, like, no, yeah, no, no, it's like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. he can stick with you and that. Like, like, if a ghost, like... Yeah, but what if he's your mate, though? I'm not asked. Why, though? What's like, that listen? movie that's come out this year with the ghost? What's it called? You, uh, <laughs> the, the family moves to the house and there's the dead sound ghost. Oh, is that uh, the, the one that's yeah. on Netflix? Yeah, and it's the one from Stranger Things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, store, apparently, if a ghost is attracted to the energy you give off, it can like stick with you and shit like that. Like, yeah, you shouldn't yeah. mess about with stuff like that. I swear. Dangerous, lad. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> Think of the views. What if we went there and he's like, oh my god, there's the comedian Danny D. But that's not, lad. And I'm just going to stick with him, no. I mean, how do you know? I'd kill myself, lad. Would you, yeah? Just, just a bit, and and then, then you'd just join him in the afterlife yeah, anyway. Yeah, what now, lad? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, and we're both dead. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love the sound of it. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do Should it. Should we do it? Could, 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 do you we be able to do it soon? Or is it, so, is it yeah. booked up? No, I think they just do like specials now. They do say it at nights where they have guests in to stay, but most of the time it's special. Like, yeah, they, um, do you know that what's it called? SAS thing? Uh, the winds or whatever yeah, it is? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, they had the dogs on that. Yeah. yeah. So they got in contact with them. They brought all the dogs down and took them up in the rooms. And, like, in that one with the, the rocking chair, one of the dogs is just going off its head, pure growling and barking at something in there. Because they're all proper big military saying dogs and all that. I just, oh. I just, I'm a shitbag, you know, I just closed my eyes. I couldn't. Fuck off, lad. Oh, Come on, lad. lad. We'd have to. That would be hysterical. Like, it's not a ghost, right? It's a living thing. But the time I've been... Because I, I, I never used to believe in spirits at all. But I think I've seen me half fella. Like, I've been walking through the swan and I've sort of seen me half fella. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But 
the scariest moments I've ever had. It's one of those things where like, he's there and then a bus goes past and he's gone. Yeah. Like, whoosh, yeah. And then he's not there. I was like, dad, and then I realised it was a birthday party and there was a piñata hanging, not me out there. <laughs> 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 I don't know, but I'm just guessing. Yeah, Why yeah, are yeah. kids hitting me to have sticks? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why has he got sweets in them? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to tell him. Me half fellas strung himself. Just so you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, no, but the scariest, wow. the scariest thing I've ever seen. So, like, his webs were clean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were doing. <laughs> he just as he was like choking, the shit was just running down his webs. I was thinking, oh, Grail's gonna be fuming here, lad. Grail's gonna be fuming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was doing a nighter in Green Punk Park with my stepdad. Like, there was only about eleven, and um, I was bored. Fucking, it was about eleven o'clock, half eleven. It was dark. I was dead bored, and fucking got out the tent. I was like messing around, and I found this like little kids like ride on car. Like, him, like by the bush, so I was just going down the sill, fucking half eleven at night, and this little kid's kind of yeah, flying around the corner, and I kept turning left to where our tent was, and then I just come down, and I thought I just turn right, something different, and like I swung a right turn in, and it was the bottom end of the lake, and it was just pitch black with like loads of trees, and as I just swung like towards these trees, I just seen these two eyes staring at me, and I fucking squealed. It was a fox, right? Oh, but I okay. fucking shit, me kicked that. Yeah, I've never. That. I was just shaking like. <laughs> Like the scariest thing I've ever had. And then as a kid, I had this recurring nightmare of like, it's a bit weird. This fox used to chase me, <laughs> but on a hoover. <laughs> so the, the fox was sitting on a little Henry or yeah, the something. The fox was sitting like on a Henry chasing me. Lad, it was mad, lad. It was heavy. I had some mad recurring genes. Yeah. For about that. four years, I kept having this nightmare. Like, <laughs> Don't fuck, no! I used to have a scatty team when I was a kid, and I used to have it all the time. Like, there was some, there was some our man who looked all like. His face was all like droopy and that, and he was just like stood. But it, it wasn't sleep paralysis; it was a dream that he used to have, and he was like stood in the corner of my room. He used to be fucking shit scared to go to bed when I was a kid, me. Did you? In case he had because like, I used to have the dream like, a few times a week. Yeah, Horrible, I feel like I went through a phase where it was like I was scared to go a kid because I kept having scary dreams. Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't. It was never a reoccurring one. It was always like it's it was different. always just different shit. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I think it was Alfie Carter the other day, um, at the comedy club. He was like, "It's weird." I was like. We're absolutely, we're in absolutely no control of our dreams at all. Like, if we don't like it, we can't turn over or so. It's just like, I you're just, yeah. you're just yeah, suffering. Like, yeah, I don't even understand dreams because they get, like, lucid dreams and all that, don't you? I don't I've even had, know the difference. I've, I've had it once, right? Do you know what you know what lucid dreaming is? No, what's that? Is that? So, it's like... Can't you control it? Yeah, so when you're um, dreaming, you realise you're dreaming and you can sort of control it. And I, I've only it's only ever happened to me once, and I don't even know how I've done it. But there is things you can do. So, like, you can buy, like, um, a headband... And you go to bed and it knows when you're in your REM sleep and what it'll do is it'll start flashing. So when you're dreaming, you'll see like red and then you'll know in your head that you're dreaming. But it's terrifying. Imagine you, imagine you bought one not realising. Red! Yeah. Red! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> imagine you bought one not realising. <laughs> <laughs> not realising you had know, epilepsy and you just died in bed. <laughs> you got to have your eyes open for that, though, haven't you? I don't know. Well, I really did joke there, so, like, sorry. sorry. Like. But it, it, so it's only ever happened to me once. And I was like, I control me. You can control your dream, and you can, you can. It, it's mad. It's like, you know, when you're dreaming, and it's like when you wake up, and it was like you don't remember the dream because it was a little bit like fuzzy. Yeah, and then it but like when you realize you're yeah, yeah. when you realize you're dreaming, it's like you open your eyes, but you don't. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's like, like clear. I want to wake up, and I'm like, I need to wake up here. This is like shit, scary or whatever's going on, but I can't. And I'm like literally screaming in my dream, but I know I'm going. Mm, mm. Yeah, and I've, had, that, oh, yeah, I've like, had one. Um, what did you say? Sleep paralysis or something? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've had that once. That was oh, that was horrible. I was literally lying there in my bed, but I was looking around my room. But I knew I was asleep, and I was like that, looking around my room, just like I, I need to move here. I can't move. And then I looked that way, and it's this black figure yeah. just stood right oh, next to the bed, horrible. looking over me, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I, pro- I proper suffer with it. Maybe it's like, where's that receipt, lad? For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I proper suffer with sleep. Not 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 as bad, but like I I go through phases where I'll get it and then I don't. So normally with mine is say if I've been woken up and I'm going back asleep, what I, like what normally happens is as I'm going to fall back asleep, I'll just get stuck and I can't move. So like there's them types of sleep paralysis where you're just stuck, but then there's the other type like you've just said yeah. where people normally see things and like figures <sighs> and whatever. So I've only ever had it once where. I've woke up and there was someone near. So it, it, sleep paralysis is weird because your your body's trying to breathe itself because that's what it's meant to do when you're asleep. Mm. But you're trying to Stop breathe it. as well. So your chest feels dead tight. So I've woke up and if it was someone was kneeling on my chest, 
and it was just so much pressure, like, and I couldn't breathe, and it was just like they were they were looking at me with that with like this mouth open, but the mouth was white and their eyes were white, and it was just like a black like figure. That's but I googled horrible. it, I googled it, and it was everyone who'd not everyone, but like people who'd experienced that sort of sleep paralysis, seeing the same figure. White eyes. That's white what mouth. confuses me about it because it, like millions of people get it and see the exact same thing. Yeah. Like, what is it? It was horrible. Like, so I had that, I had that sleep paralysis for ages where I was just stuck and I couldn't move and that was it. I just couldn't move and that Do was you it. Think like it's linked to like anxiety or depression or something. Probably. Where there's something in the back of your head that's sort of. It probably it probably could be. I know the re so the reason why sometimes you see things in sleep paralysis because when you're waking up, say, if, especially if you're in, like, your REM sleep, if you're waking up, you're still in, like, your dreamland. So when you open your eyes, it's like you're half dreaming and half in reality. So your dreams are coming to light. And the so reason, we don't even yeah, understand this. And the reason why way. sometimes when you have sleep paralysis and you wake up, obviously, because you're stressing anyway, that you can't move, it's given them dark thoughts, nah. thingy to like manifest it. Yeah, yeah, physical manifestation of whatever you were ex- experiencing, sort it's of thing. Energy, nah. Mad, yeah. I the... struggle with that one. What's it called? Sleep um, apnea because of a fat gun. Did you snore dead, lad? <laughs> you got a machine, have you? <laughs> no, but genuinely, the baby. Um, we've got a booking appointment. Uh, he three, four times a week, he just stops breathing in his sleep. Fuck off. And he just goes. He's gonna be asleep, and he, he's only one, and he'll just go. And then, like, catch his breath, and it's the scariest thing ever. Shut up. So, yeah, so we, we've thrown the doctors over again, like... I sleep apnea where when you're lying on your back, your hole closes over or something? I, I don't know the fucking scientific terms of it, like... I just know normally it's just fat cunts, you get it? <laughs> my, cat, my cat's got asthma. Has <laughs> it? Swear down. <laughs> cat's got asthma. Have you got to give it an inhaler? No, it's, it's, it has, like, this mad like, medication, I think, like a syringe or something. But like you, you, you it's scatty. You How know? did you find out your cat had asthma? Lad? Because lad, we thought he was dying. Because like we just be sitting there every so often. We just yeah, <laughs> the heaviest fair ball ever. And you be like, what the fuck's the cat doing? And then it's like going, because <laughs> it couldn't breathe. It's trying to cough. And be like, the fuck's up with that cat? My mum took her into the vet, and he was like, um, your cat's got asthma, you know? And we were like, what? Isn't it weird <laughs> the things that animals get that like? Ta- like my dog's got hay fever. Like I'm. Like hay, a dog with hay fever. Mad, eh? It is crazy. Fucking right? weird. My, is my, crazy. W- w- one of my dogs can't eat chicken. What? Big German Shepherd, right? This fucking massive dog. Bert. Hey, Bert. Yeah, big. He's a fucking idiot. And he's, he, <laughs> you give him yeah. chicken, lad, and he, 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 he just shits everywhere. Yeah, Titanic oh, yeah. beef. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. He, he nearly Man, killed himself every week eating a towel. Can't eat boiled chicken. Just same as you. Just shit. No, not same as you. Like, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, same as you. I, I like chicken shit everywhere. Yeah. I ate chicken before. I yeah. hope I'm not gonna shit everywhere because this isn't my couch. I'm not paying for it. I'm, yeah, I'm thirty fucking... grand deep in on my dog. Really? Yeah. Never got it insured, and he's just like the most injury prone dog ever. Yeah. Really? He's got... Just put him down. I know. Shut <laughs> off. <laughs> I just love him too much. But, uh, two cruciates. Like a footy player. Is he a staffy? Two footy no, He's a footy Yorkie. player. Staffies are prone to the cruciate ligament going. Ah, yeah. Two mm. slip discs. Sounds like, here, like Sounds like K. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pancreatitis. Fucking hell. And you know what? We got told we need to put him down like over a year ago. And the, the vet was like, just see how he goes for the week. Put him on the CBD. I see them now. It's like a puppy. Really? Yeah. He went from like this, he went normal Yorkie colour. And when he got sick, he went like white, snow white. It was weird. All his fur fell out. Put him on the CBD, and now he's like the thickest looking weird dog. Ah, oh, that's nice. really yeah. yeah. That's boss, that. Mm-hmm. I'm sick cool, that though. Yeah. So. Do you know what? Loads of people. Um, I will not loads, but I've seen a few people say like they've had like a dog or a cat that's been dead ill, and they've put CBD oil in its food and all that. Yeah, yeah. And the and the dog's like fucking. Fran. Like like for five years like younger nah. like like well, it's not yeah, for my dog. You should. Yeah, we had the Jack Russell years ago that uh, got a hernia and then had two cataracts. So like fucking, he's just walking to walls and everything. It was hilarious. Like. That's heavy. There. <laughs> yeah, me, 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 fucking Elliot Auntie, you used to have a dog that was deaf and blind, mm. and I, and it, the dog was like nineteen and it had been deaf and blind. And he's like that. Fuck it. It had been, like, it'd been <laughs> deaf and blind for like ten years. Like, like I wonder if it ever just forgets it exists. The other way, dogs have only got a certain memory span. Like, that dog's deaf and blind, doesn't know it's, it's anywhere. I wonder if every now and again it just goes, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a video the other day, some fella. <laughs> it was like his home video camera that he's got, like, security camera set up. Um, and he was decorating. 
So he took his furniture out and the dog's blind and the dog just ran in and went to jump on the couch. He rem- memorises how many steps to the couch and the couch was gone. The dog just ran and just did the dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've See, I seen him, I seen him on TikTok. I think it was last night. This fella was in America, lived in like a bungalow and um, he was fucking, he, he was like getting the leaves out of the goods on his roof. So he had the ladder up to the roof and he had two golden receivers and he's he seen it on his, uh, he, he videoed the dog. And then you seen it, he, he put the footage up from his camera in his back oh, garden, the yeah, ladder's yeah. like that, and one of the two dogs are looking at the ladder, and one of them's looking and looking up. It does that about four or five times, and then just runs up the ladder, and this <laughs> fucking golden receiver's on the roof of his house, and he stood there, like, made, made up with itself in well, like, you know what I mean, proper over the moon with itself, like. Yeah, the fucking boss, I, I love dogs, you know, I reckon do- like, they're I the like best animals in the like, world, yeah. like. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. On, I'm going on to cats, though. You know, lad, cats are boss. Lad, I cats are boss. Cats lad, well. nah, I can't, can't cat, do cats. Uh, cats are mad because, like, it, like we we we've got this cat called Larry, right? And it, they, they, I don't know if I told you this cat. I'm not even messing. Like, I know cats are a bit weird anyway, but uh, this cat's a psychopath. <laughs> like, I'm not messing. Like, I've seen this cat. He's, he's like, he's got a black and white face, and this cat numerous times has come in the house with just blood all up its face. Oh, then it's fair and everything, and then it just gets on the couch and lies on your knee, and you're like, what the fuck? And yeah. then it's got blood all over it, it's fucking, he's a weird cat. He, he watches you, though. Like, and I don't mean, like, he'll just look at you, I mean, like, there's been major times, like, I've, like, I've went down in the morning, opened the curtains in the living room, and, like, he'll be on, like, the roof of the house, or, like, over the road, like, on the roof of their car, just staring. As you open the curtains, he's already making <laughs> eye contact, and you're like, how long have you been there? <laughs> no, like, that, the, you're waiting the, for that, ages. the weird, you know, <laughs> the fucking strange. I think, do you know what it is I'm starting to like about cats now? So, like, dogs are, like, Clingy anyway, so no matter where you go, you can always get a little fucking cuddle off a dog. Yeah, cat, yeah. Whereas, it's coming like that. Whereas right? with cats, because cats just do their own thing, and then when it when it wants to, it play it'll come yeah. over to you. Yeah, 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 so yeah. when it comes over, it's like, <clears throat> yeah, you made up, you <laughs> made up, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we we've got this cat called Mickey because uh, as I said, my mum my mum's worked in, in in different vets for years. And um, she just robs animals. No, well, like, she, so, uh, uh, but she used to volunteer herself all the time. Every time, like a, a stray cat that had had kittens would come in, and like the cat had died because lo- like lo- loads of times, especially with stray cats, that had happened. Rather than them just get rid of the litter of kittens to the RSPCA, my mum would bring them home, and we'd have to like bottle feed these little fucking like day old kittens, and I mean, we'd look after them for like six weeks and then rehome them. And the amount of fucking times over the years, my mum's ended up getting attached to one. Yeah. And then there was at one point we had four cats in ours, and I was like, why? Have, why have we got four cats? <laughs> and we've got this cat called Mickey. We've had them for years. He's like fourteen. And I'm not even messing that. Like, he's like, as soon as you pick him up, he like reaches out to like hug you and that. Oh, he's, it's the best. Do you know, you know when you have the joint and you come in and you just pick the cat up and this cat hugs you and you're like, yes, <laughs> that is the best feeling in the world. You know, it's amazing, lad. Yeah, I'm with you it, on like, that. Because like dogs, I get what you mean. Dogs, like you've only got to look at a dog and it's like. I'm gonna get on your knee now. Yeah. And like, whereas cats will blank here all day. And like, the cats play hard to get, yeah. like, the cats act like a fit bird. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Dogs are, like, dogs are like an ugly bird. You just look at them and they're like, I'll suck your dick, okay? <laughs> whereas cat, 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 cat will blank here all day. And you go, you're like, Psst. You're, you're drafting. Yeah, you're like, 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 I'll, like I'll get some ham, I'll get some ham. And everything. Like, like, I'll get on your knee for five minutes. And you're like, yes, it's sick. Like, I love them, you know. <laughs> good I love you them, lads. That's hilarious. Ah, oh, cats are bosh, man. How long have we done? Uh, hour 10. Oh, sounds. That's sure. fun quick, that, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I can be calling an episode. I've had yeah. a great time. Uh, plug, 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 whatever. Where, yeah, where, where, where can we find you and, and, and Grail? Uh, so, store, Jamaica Street. Um, we'll put the address on the screen and that's so they know where to find us. Download the app. We're on live, we're on Instagram. All Talking about the app then, quick, right? I looked Go at on. it. Is it only on Apple at the minute or is it on Android? Um, it's on. Because when I click on the link, it only yeah. takes me to the Apple store and I'm a I'm a knobhead with Android. Just grow up, lad. Get an iPhone. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're just trying to get rid of people like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it is. It's a It is, man. It's on both. So, nice one for let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you can download that and that. But, yeah, it's. Yeah, just check it out. And what's your Instagram? Great Liverpool. Great Liverpool. Sure. Yeah. I mean, the, the people in Liverpool know who he is anyway. Well, don't, they didn't know, but now they do know. Yeah, yeah. 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 The real name's Grail. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, no, she, she, genuinely, when I brought them shoes in, I was wearing them, just paid 200 quid for a new pair of shoes, and, me, and the stitching had just come apart, and I took them in, because yeah. I went into him, um, I, I was in the Block P shop, just looking oh, at some of the yeah, ones yeah. they had, and I was like, do you know anyone who fixes shoes? And he gave me your card. 
And I think I, think I found you first, and you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah be like, like bring them in the shop, and I went down, and I was, I was like, I was half worried, because I was like, if I get, like, I, if I'd have got them back, and like, it didn't, it, I could have, you know, the way sometimes when you can tell they've been done, oh, and, so, and like I, I was probably, yeah, like I was that, thinking, yeah. oh, I, I, I hope you can't tell, and I got them back, and they were fucking spot on, I was, I've still got them now, they're in perfect condition, thanks wow. to you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks yeah, to thank Grail you. Liverpool, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll put all the links for the app, and the Instagram, and that down in the description, so it. anything else coming up, or any, any, anything you want to we have got about. some news coming up soon, but it's it's to be honest, it's a, it's a charity based thing. We want to start giving back to the, the like the community, and that's so all. It's going to be based around shoes. That, in all honesty, we get left loads of shoes. Yeah. So it's going to be based around that, but also we're going to be offering people to drop off as well, like yeah. anything that they don't want. That's sick. And we're going to just try and we've got a thing that we're going to do, but it's it's in the works at the moment. So yeah. And if you need we, any volunteers or help. Yeah, let us oh, know. Nice shout out yeah, 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 yeah. and give you that hand oh, if you need yeah, anything with it. Very much. But yeah, we'll put all the links down in the description. If you've got any shoes that that, that pair of shoes that you love but they've just seen better days, take them up to Grail. Uh, all the links are down in the description where you can go and find them. Thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. We'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.